open and closed syllables. We are going to learn about two types of syllables. But first, what is a syllable? A syllable is a single spoken sound and usually contains a vowel and some consonants. You can notice syllables by how many claps a word has, or also by how many times your mouth opens. Every syllable has a vowel and you need to move your mouth to say a vowel sound. Let's first look at open syllables. An open syllable is a syllable that ends in a vowel that says its name or its long sound. Look at this, me. It ends in a vowel, see that E there? And the E is not saying eh, otherwise it would be meh. It's saying E, it's saying its long sound. So this is what we call an open syllable. Go also ends in a vowel, and the vowel says its name or its long sound, O. Oh. So that is an open syllable. Now a closed syllable has one short vowel, where the vowel says its short sound, and it's closed in at the end by one or more consonants. So in the word fan, the vowel, A, is not saying its name, A, it's saying its short sound, A. And then that short vowel, A, is closed in with the consonant, N. Remember that consonants are all the other letters that are not vowels. Wish is also a closed syllable because the I is short, I, and it's closed in by some consonants, that S and H. When I notice a vowel closed in with a consonant, it helps me read it because I know that the vowel should be short. So I know that I won't say I in this word and that this word is not going to be Y. I know it's a closed syllable, so the vowel is short. Now, we can use a door to help us remember open and closed syllables. Look at this word got. It's closed with its short vowel and the T closing it in. Okay, like kind of like a closed door. But when we open the door, now we have an open syllable with the long vowel at the end. Now the word is go. It has a long vowel. Him is a closed syllable word. Let's open the door and have an open syllable. And now we have hi, where the I went from I in him to I in hi. Here we have web as a closed syllable. When we open the door, the word becomes what? We. Now it's an open syllable. Bet is closed. Open the door and bet becomes B, an open syllable. Closed, here we have what word? Sock. Open, we have so. Let's see if you can remember which of these words are open and which ones are closed. Net. Hmm, is this one open or closed? Notice how it ends with a T and a consonant, and notice what the vowel says. It says E. Eh. So net is closed because of that short vowel and being closed in with the consonant T. Is bus open or closed? It's closed because of the short U, uh, and it's closed in with an S. Is she open or closed? She is open because it ends with a vowel and the vowel says its long sound, E. Is kick open or closed? Closed. Is no open or closed? Open. Nice work. Many words have more than one syllable. Sandbox has two syllables, and you can just break it apart by the words because it's a compound word, sand and box. Both sand and box, you might notice, are closed syllables. Take a look at bed bug. We can break it apart into bed and bug, and notice that bed and bug each have closed syllables. 
compound words are pretty simple to break apart, but other words are a little trickier. To find where to divide the syllables, we have to remember that every syllable has a vowel, and so you'll look between the two vowels. And if there's one letter in between, try dividing it after the vowel. And if there's two consonants in between the two vowels, try to divide between the two consonants. I know that's a little bit confusing, but we'll do some together. So in basket, we see the two vowels, A and E, and then in between there's an S and a K. So we will try to divide it between the S and the K and see if that makes sense. So we would have bass and then kept. And if you look, both of those syllables are closed. Take a look at this word. Between the two E's, there's a T and a Z. So we'll divide it right between the T and the Z and we would get pret and then zul. And here, pretzel, we have two closed syllables. Take a look at this word. Now here, there's only one consonant between the two vowels. Let's see if we can divide it after the first vowel. So we would have so, and then the next syllable would be low, which would make solo, which means to be alone or to sing a song by yourself. We could have divided it after the L, but then that word would have been sol, because that would have been a closed syllable, O solo, and that doesn't quite work. So here both words are open. Many words have both an open and a closed syllable. Take a look at this word. Where should we divide it? Let's first try after the O. Then it would be pro tech. Protect. So this has an open and a closed syllable. Where should we divide this word? Let's try after the U. Then we get hue, man, human. And so with this one, we have an open and closed syllable. Where should we divide this word? It starts with a vowel, so let's try after the O since there's only one consonant. O, pen, open. Let's do one more. Where should we divide this word? If we divide it after the E, then the word would be me, new. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. Let's try after the N and make it a close syllable. Men, you, menu. So there we have a closed and an open syllable. Try to use your knowledge of open and closed syllables to help you read and write words. Check out many other syllable type videos linked below.